What's up everyone? Welcome back to Eight Immortals. Um, today we're going to be doing a uh, step-by-step walkthrough of Chum Q, uh, the second form, Seeking the Bridge, my favorite form of Wing Chun. I love performing this form. I like practicing. I like the movements. It almost has like a clockwork quality to it. And it's so cool. Actually, when you start to, when you start to do it yourself, you get comfortable with the motions. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Almost like an automaton. It's like you go to, it's super, something super, super cool about it. It's one of the things that kind of teaches you first to rotate on your center. Um, teaches it's the first form in which we actually have movement and stepping. It's the first form we're using pivoting to generate power. There's a lot of like super, super cool, uh, super fundamental Wing Chun principles that work in this form. Um, and it has that sense. So today I'm just gonna go through step by step it's going to be a little bit awkward. Every time you break something up, uh, up step by step, it makes it more awkward. But for you, when you're working on it and you get more comfortable, you can just go back and watch the other video where I just do the, the, the form at regular pace. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, if you need a little reminder, that's what comes next. Okay? So I'm going to do it step by step. I'll kind of explain the steps now, but not so slow that it gets awkward and impossible to follow. So it's just the basic part of it. Later on, we're going to do the application part, uh, as we've been doing with elbows and stuff like that. So don't worry about that. Today, just worry about getting the steps down. Just like, okay, family style, when we do it in, in class normally, okay, when I learn this form, is following the, following the students in front of you, following you, watching your CP do it. You, you kind of mess it up as you go along, you keep repeating it, that's how you learn it, okay? But here's a step-by-step. -step. Again, when you get it, go back, watch the other one, and then you can go for some quicker tips a lot faster, all right? Start same as a Sunim Tao. So this part will be super familiar for you. Here, no need to go on about it, you've got it already, Yiji Kim Ma here. This, is the same. This looks the same as the right hand punch comes right after, okay? So they're connected. You'll see the difference. Both hands together, double jumps out in front, shoot forward using your stance. We always start by going left in Wing Chun, so we're going to pivot left, left hand on top, double Lan Sao, all the way over to the right, all the way over to the left. Both hands shoot double Bu Sao. Both elbows, think about this as your elbows dropping down. Outside hand, right hand comes over the top. Left hand pushes up, one, two, three. Palm strikes, important, they're not to the center, they're actually shoulder width. One, two, three. From here, all the way over, Lan Sao. Hand comes up here, Bong Sao. Make sure your hand is not up like this, it's here to protect it, okay, it's different. Pull into Lan Sao, that's two. Pull, that's three. Pull, this time, punch straight ahead and chamber all the way across Fak Sao, Jut Sao, and back in. Exactly the same thing on the other side, okay? So we're pivoting with the right, right hand on top this time. One, two, three, double view Sao. Both elbows come down, outside hand again, left hand. One, two, three, left hand. One, two, three, pull all the way over to Lan Sao, Bong Sao. That's two, that's three, Punch all the way across, there. Pivoting to the left, okay? Left leg in front, left arm, lawn south. We're doing a rising kick with your lead left leg. Rising kick, step, double tan south, bong. Step, bong, step, bong. Right hand, the bong south arm, uppercut. Comes back to the center, left hand on top, same thing, other side, pivoting to the right, Lan Sao, right hand, left, right leg in front, rising kick, bong, double Tan Sao, bong, double Tan Sao, bong, left hand this time, uppercut, back to the center. This time when you pivot to the left, double chambered arms, okay? So you're not going to Lan Sao, left leg's gonna lead. Pivot, both arms here, rising kick with your left leg, step, Double tan sao, bong, double bong. Okay, both arms. Double tan, double bong as you step. Double tan, double bong. On the last one, my feet are gonna come together. Double jut sao, double bu sao, pull. Right foot steps back on your toe, pivot all the way over. Right leg, your lead leg lifting, rising kick, double bong. Step, double bong, step, Double bong, double jut sao, double view sao. Quarter turn pivot, okay? Left leg comes, kicks towards the front, comes down. 
right hand gum sal, gum sal, gum sal, punch, 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 chin sal, chamber, inhale, exhale. Okay? That's the step by step. Practice, follow along, do a breakdown of the movements later. When you think you've got it, okay, and you still need a refresher, go back, just watch the quick version of the chump cue. You don't need to go through the step by step. This is to get you to that point where you can start to run through it, okay? You'll see as you start to practice it, okay? It's repeating patterns. So once you have the left side, you've got the right side, okay? So it'll be, this is the same as this one. This one is the same as the one on the other side. Those things just repeat, okay? So it's not as bad as it looks. When you first look at it, it's like, holy crap, it's so confusing, I'll never get it. When you start to break it up and you just realize it's repeating both sides, it's not as big a deal, okay? Then getting the subtleties, that's gonna come afterwards. For now, get the movement, start to do the form, start to practice the stepping in those motions, and you're gonna have it, okay? Beautiful. So, you practice. Last word of warning, okay? If you haven't learned the, the Sunim Tao yet, don't go jumping ahead here. Everything's based on everything else in, in Wing Chun. You can't, you can't jump ahead. So if you haven't done the Sunim Tao, maybe you think it's more boring. Go, you have to learn it. Go back, learn the Sunim Tao, then join us again here. No jumping ahead, okay? Until next time, keep training, stay strong, stay healthy. We'll see you back here at Aiden Mortals Wing Chun.